Engineers from the University of British Columbia are using recycled tires to create stronger concrete. The new concrete could be used to prevent cracking in everything from buildings to bridges, and it will also help further reduce the number of tires that make it into landfills. Now, of the 290 million tires thrown away every year just in the US, more than 80% of them are already reused and recycled in some way. Still, that leaves like 57 million or so tires to do many things with, including making a new concrete. The new concrete is a mixture of cement, sand, and water, and 0.35% tire fibers. Now, recycled rubber roads are not new. Some asphalt roads in the US have rubber crumbs from shredded tires. Most of you will be familiar with the crumbs that replace pea gravel on playgrounds and cover sweaty diving athletes on athletic fields. Or you can even find them in mulch, which, if you're gardeners, I mean you find them in mulch. This new process uses the tire fiber, not the crumbs. Every tire, when it's recycled, can produce one kilogram of fiber. In initial tests, the concrete has reduced cracks by more than 90%. The concrete industry produces 6 billion cubic feet of concrete each year, and the world throws away about 3 billion tires. If their tests check out, we could soon see concrete that is a little more resistant to loading and more durable, and a lot less tires in those landfills. Still be plenty for us to burn out in the fields, though. You got any tires? You're in a bro pallets. Woo! Ooh, swing and a miss. This next story is a little ridiculous, but something with a special place in my heart as I train a new puppy in a house full of cats. Yeah, that's Riggs. She's just like having a really hard time realizing that that basement is just not her domain. Just a lot of, just a lot of that on the nose. Swipe. A new DIY project was posted to Hackster by Windows. It's a Windows 10 IoT Core doggy door with pet recognition. The door uses a webcam, minnow board max, but you can use a Raspberry Pi, passive IR sensors, servo motors, and open CV, or open source computer vision. When the pet walks up to the door, it triggers the motion sensor, which turns on the webcam and captures a few pictures of the animal. It then runs it through a classifier so it knows which animal it is and whether or not it belongs on the other side of that door. I mean, you can even set it up to send you text messages of blocked animals with an option to override the system with a reply text. Just need to get one of these on the basement door immediately. Then I'll start mapping out the rest of the premises. Ooh, swing and a miss. Last week, researchers headed to the Cornell Geotechnical Lifeline's large scale testing facility to test advanced infrastructure sensors. Developed by UC Berkeley and the University of Cambridge, the sensors are designed to measure strain, temperature, movement, and leakage. For the test, they installed the sensors along a 40-foot section of a new type of earthquake-proof pipeline designed by IPEX. And then they buried it with 80 tons of soil on top of it. Engineers watched as the pipe experienced a simulated fault rupture while buried inside a hydraulically powered split basin that they filled with the soil. While testing the sensors, they also wanted to test the pipe for earthquake fault rupture performance. The test was the first time that the sensors had been used to monitor buried infrastructure, and it gave an unprecedented look at the pipe's ability to elongate and bend while being subjected to ground failure. The sensors drew interest from the municipal engineers in attendance who need new ways to monitor underground infrastructure. IPEX's pipeline itself is pretty innovative. The company uses a molecularly oriented polyvinyl chloride material that is engineered to stretch, bend, and compress as it withstands extreme ground deformation. In a separate four-joint bending test, attendees had a chance to see the pipe's ability to bend, and it is a suspenseful, if not impressive, 26 seconds. Ooh, 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 ah. Are we feeling good about this? Are we good about this? There it goes! Oh, you got it! Oh, what happened? Next, the research team is gonna dig out the pipeline and analyze the data collected by the sensors. Probably keep picking up pieces of that shattered pipeline because that was awesome! Let's watch it break again. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.